Welcome to No Rules, people. The first No Rules show of 2022. Do you know why I'm talking with my mask on? Because like yesterday, all my aunties okay. did a speech with a mask on. I couldn't hear what they were saying. And they got big noses, so <laughs> big up them, man. <laughs> Tigo, where you been, man? I've been here mostly. Yeah, listen, sorry I was there. You know what? Psst, public transport, you know how it goes. Start of the year, it always runs slow. Why are you... What, what is it? What is with you and microphones? Is it? Yeah. Do you know what it is? I think, because I wear glasses here, T. Yeah. I'm looking at you and there's this big red thing right in front of me and it, it reminds me of my hemorrhoid <laughs> that's behind me. So I'm a bit scared, boy. People, if you've got a hemorrhoid, hold it, man. I just find out why I've got a hemorrhoid. I've got a hemorrhoid because I sit in the toilet for too long. Felix is a big hemorrhoid guy. Is it? got a hemorrhoid the first week I joined Rima. What? So when you, when you do do, there's blood everywhere. <laughs> Flipping hell, bro, man. The other day I had diarrhea. Exploded. Not the diarrhea, the hemorrhoid. <laughs> and I was mad, so I wanted it back. So what I do? Stay in the toilet for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, hemorrhoid's real, man. But see, happy new year, how you been? I didn't question whether or not hemorrhoids are real. I told, I, I, was, I was telling my memes that you, you, you got it, but it was me. Yeah, I know, I know. Like my friend tigo has got a hemorrhoid now. What, how, how can you help him? Yeah, what he needs to do, it's, it's, it's me this time. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I, I, got, I had COVID in the last year. Oh yeah, so people, that's why No Rules was delayed, yeah? No, it's not. <laughs> Absolutely not. What do you Why? mean? Do you, <laughs> you had the COVID 18. We haven't done an episode since November 12th was the oh, last released episode. It's a long time, Felix, going with D. What are we doing? I was doing other things. And we had the live show. I uh, know. I want to know quickly who, who did you take their clothes, boots, and motorcycle? Say that again, T. So the crowd at the, the, the back, do you not come forward? Give me your clothes, your boots. And your motorcycle. All right, so first of all, we'll start, we'll, we'll start from down to up or up to down. Which one? I mean, look, they can only see the jacket. No, no, no. We're going to start from down to up. A few of you mummies were like, oh, Specs, you keep wearing these boots, man. <sighs> now, let me tell you something. I tried to service these. <laughs> I tried to take them to the mechanics to get them sorted. <laughs> they said they don't deal with these anymore. And I love them so much because they've got... A belt around them, <laughs> so it's got, it's got waist problems, you know what I mean? Specs is holding up a pair of laceless Dr. Martins. So crowd, if you've seen these, because Dr. Martins said they don't deal with these anymore. So if you see these old Bentleys anywhere, yeah, it has to, it has to be Dr. Dr. Martins though, for some reason. <laughs> Let me know, because I need a new pair. These are battered, but I'm going to... Oh my God, look, look at that. It's got a dent, man. Someone was throwing stones at me and I just <laughs> vodied it. One of my fake resolutions is to wear boots with everything. Mwah. And then, you see the jeans, innit? I didn't see the oh, jeans. Oh, I'm filthy no. fellas peeking that tried to rip me about my jeans, my grey jeans. So I decided I'm going to wear them all the time. Remember, I'm a minimalist as well, so I'll wear clothes repetitively. <laughs> AKA, all your clothes are in one place and you're currently living in a place with not a lot of options. Of course. Of course, man. There's not a lot of options. They, they are outrageous jeans. Black stonewashed jeans. My jeans have got a scar, right? <laughs> this is from an accident. This is from an accident, the staff. <laughs> the staff is the staff. I like these jeans, man. You know, you know when I look at myself, I, I, I hear that song, Wild Things. <laughs> and then of course, people, now let me tell you about this jacket. If you hold my jacket with one hand, your bicep show. That means the jacket is heavy. <laughs> Where did you get that jacket? Is it intentionally aged or is it vintage or did you inherit it or what's the deal? This is um, John Connor. <laughs> yes, no, that's why I, I, give me your clothes, your boots and your motorcycle. Is a, this, is, is a this, is, this is Terminator on the motorcycle. Yeah. Now, just let me just tell you this now, cause yeah. you don't know this. Okay. When we was at the Filthy Live show, one of Nigel's friends, a black guy, came up to me and said, listen, I'm, I've got loads of Harley Davidsons. And he said to me, I like the way you dress. If you keep dressing like this, he's gonna give me a free Harley Davidson. A Harley Davidson bike is the ones where the handlebars are above the forehead. Even if you're critical, the handlebars are still above you. So you ride like this. Wild things, you make me do nice things. And you riff. 
So I said to myself, you know what, T? Do you know who I'm talking about? Yes. Is he, was he telling the truth? Shut up. What? T, I want to say something to you. Um, New Year's resolutions. Yeah. I think we should scrap that shit. <laughs> I think I have scrapped that shit. I'll be honest with you. Do you know what I said to myself on New Year's Day? No. I'm not going out anymore. So I DJ'd and then I said, this is the last time I'm going out. I want to stay in, play foot manager. I don't want to rave anymore. And then you just asked me if you, if, if you can come to the- And then t- Friday hits. T, Friday hits. I'm like, let's do something. And I, I'm just, I can't stop arguing myself because of resolutions. I say to myself, I'm going to save money. Everyone's resolution is, I'm gonna say peas. I'm not spending peas no more. I should actually, um, I should write down every time you say you're not doing that anymore to everything you ever say, I'm not doing that anymore. Because it, you, you probably tell me you're, I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. You probably tell me that once a week about something and yeah, you're back doing it. So it's all right to quit for two weeks and come back to it. No, 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 no. I'm just, this is no rule, Shorty. Let's, let's, let's be honest, crowd, it's all right to like, Quit something for a week or two and then get back to it. Shoulder shaking. If you've quit for a month, get back to it because when you get back to it, <laughs> explosion. <laughs> you know what I mean? The curtains got stained and you ain't even seen. You just see some. Dr- Is that too paced or? <laughs> that? Never mind. Try and wipe that. That ain't coming off. You missed Filthy, obviously. Oh, oh funeral, man. Auntie Hala, after four months, we buried her, man. R.I.P. to Auntie Hala. R.I.P. to Auntie Hala. Where's the mask? Oh, it's here. There she is, right there, man. I carried the coffin, man. Oh, you're a Do you remember when around. I carried my cousin's coffin and there was shin pads? Do I remember when it happened or do you remember <laughs> when you told me it happened? I, I, do, you, do you remember? Yes. Now, when I was carrying the coffin, things were shaking. Smarties and... Imagine that, though, like. Imagine that, because we, we, we didn't do an open coffee, so imagine they just put Smarties and flipping Skittles in there and we're just carrying that. Because my uncles, they don't, they, don't, they don't get it. It doesn't matter what they hear. They can hear keys in there, coins. <laughs> it doesn't matter. She's okay. She's just playing money out. Actually, <laughs> 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 Hannah, you know, you know I've got to do this, man. No, it, was, it, it was a boring ass you know. <laughs> It was boring as hell. Well, I mean... My auntie had a howler. So I had two aunties arguing about the halls. One of my aunties wanted a hall with catering. The other one was like, nah, let's, let's just get a hall and have sandwiches. Don't point at me when you say sandwiches. So, so we went to a hall <laughs> that had sandwiches. Too. So obviously we've been at the funeral all day and now we are starving, starving. So, you know, they make an announcement like people go for starters. We're like, all right, cool. Someone's getting their sandwiches, their little uh, cods. Is that what you know them little cod, little falafels? <laughs> their little, their little t- you know the little sausages? Yeah, cod sausages. With the dry skin, the dry skin sausages. <laughs> dry skin sausages, yeah. Cake, M- Madeira cake cut, you know, right? And then toothpick into a beetle. What is that? <laughs> into a beetle? Yeah, what is that? Do you know what that is? Greg, do you know what that is? You have to be more specific. It's brown, the beetle's legs have been tucked in, and I'm like, that ain't got in my mouth, but everyone was... Let me know what that is, crowd, yeah? Obviously, remember, I'm East African. So we sit down, we're eating the that. The legs are tucked in, well, give them something. All right, one of my uncles just grabbed about 16 beetles, grabbed the toothpick, ta, middle of the neck and put it on the plate. T, the toothpick into the beetle. When you turn the toothpick upside down, the beetle's in the air. People chop it. Mm. They're not prawns. I don't think they're prawns. Whatever they were, T, you know me. I'm looking. If whatever I see is what it is. Yeah, okay. Don't tell me it's cod or don't tell me this. Cod. (laughs) So we're eating all of that stuff. I had the cake, of course. And now we're waiting for the main. But the main never came. Oh. We just had the starters. And I don't know why, but you know, Auntie Fanta, that's for you to blame. But the funny part was when they asked me if I can order Nando's for everyone there. <laughs> I said, Nando's? You want, me to all, you want me to use my money and buy everyone Nando's? How many people at the funeral? Oof, we had about 
about 50 people. Okay, that's too many people. That's too many people. If we look at 12 pound each, it's yeah, yeah, a yeah. lot of money. Yeah, yeah. The hall didn't allow us to bring food from the outside. Save me. <laughs> Save my money. But T, our breaths were banging. <laughs> Why? Because we're hungry. <laughs> so, Auntie Hala, listen, great send off, but we were starving. So, yeah, then we had to do the speech. Doing the speech whilst you're hungry is not. It's, it's and not the mains good. didn't come. Oh, the mains didn't come. Did you do a speech? I didn't do a speech, no, because I, I had my kids. My, 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 my kids are right around my leg all day, too, man. I had, I had like hockey pads. My son was just. <laughs> my son, there's something wrong with him. He's, he's an undateable kid. <laughs> <laughs> How old is he now? Like 18 months? T, he's got a face of a 35 year old. <laughs> that was a funeral. Then I had Christmas. Oh. Christmas needs to be cancelled as well, man. Oh. Boris! Do something, man. Yeah. Christmas needs to be cancelled, man. How many times are you going to buy me shower gel? <laughs> <laughs> I've got jeans. Not the ones you're wearing. You know what jeans I've got? Blue ink. Guess. Ribs ones. Savage Dam ones. No, the jeans are called Guess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's T Gold doing? The jeans were called Guess. Yeah, I get it now. Yeah, good one. That's right, that was a proper old school like set up punchline joke there. Well done. And I got a, I got um a gown. Oh yeah, you, you like gowns. No, I don't I'm not PK, I don't wear gowns. That's a shoulder shaking. Gowns, no, your your back off shows. Like the line. <laughs> what? I, yeah, yeah. For some reason when people oh, wear like gowns. A silk gown. Yeah. No, t was it silk? No, it's not silk, it's like towel. All right. <laughs> your like the hat line, you're wearing now. Your back off line shouldn't show. Well, that was a good catch up. I don't want to waste it. It's been a minute, the... man. It's been a yeah, minute, yeah, man. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? I, mean I, I missed you, I think. Well, you missed Filthy this week. Uh, yeah, that was funeral. And um, yeah, Boat came. What? He came? What did Boat do? Boat did a weird thing. He did, he did something weird to. I was DJing. I was DJing. Scala, New Year's Eve. And a mommy came on stage and said, Boat said, I've got a charger for you. What? <laughs> Boat said, I've got a charger for you. Mummy, get off the stage. <laughs> no, but I need the charger. I don't know who you are. <laughs> but Boat said, I don't have a charger. Where's Boat? He's at home. Get off the stage. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Boat's at home sending people to the stage. <laughs> He's a powerful man. What is she doing? She can't shoot from there, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, mummies, if you want me, you can't shoot from there as well, man. All right, well look, there's a lot of there's a lot for us to go through, and I don't want to waste all the material because we've got lots of episodes to do this year. I would say like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna go every week or every two weeks or whatever, but I don't know if you've ever paid attention to the name of this show. <laughs> Anyone who comments saying, Why isn't this more regular? Or comments saying, This should be every week, or comments saying, Get this person. Read the name of the fucking show. I get paragraphs now. Paragraph specs, man. You, you help me get through this. No, no, I want, I, I want to put you back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think I am? <laughs> huh? No <You're> psychiatrist. <laughs> whatever mess you had, whatever you was going through, let's go back there. <laughs> it didn't exist in the first place. <laughs> you help me get through my back pains. <laughs> Without touching you? How does how does this show help you get out of pain? Go back. <laughs> Let's get you walking at a hunchback and that's a Flipping now, man. Ah, uh, that's the third time I've tried to transition <laughs> to the next segment. <laughs> Spex has just said no. <laughs> Spex, let's just quickly do some serious Sundays. All right, this first comment comes from Steph Maguire. Steph Maguire, yeah? Is that Mommy? Yep. Is it? Hey, Mommy's, well, welcome, man. I've seen on Twitter a lot of Mommy's talking about No Rules Show, yeah? I like that, I like that. Steph Maguire says, PK's A13 story is horror. Oh, that's... <sighs> also, what is Greg on, please? What? Why did Geordie turn to Greg about the castration thing and Specs also called for Greg about the sperm semen thing? It's just, it seems whenever it gets a bit gross, 
everyone goes, Greg. Because Greg has got basically a booklet right now. He's got all the paperwork of all the things we talk about. So if we're talking about sperm, he goes down to S because it's in alphabetical order. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got some stuff on it. That's why we look to Greg. Ryan Strafe says... Is that a mommy? <laughs> you have to check. Is that a mommy? You have to check. <laughs> no? no? As far as I know, it could be. Okay. Ryan Strafe says... Watching this makes me shoulder shake more because you lot speak about it so much. Yeah, I shoulder shake. I shoulder shake today, man. <laughs> you know, in this Peterborough place, we've got four bathrooms. What? I don't know why. So what? The smallest bathroom in the house was Blitz. <laughs> you know what I see? You know what I mean by Blitz? I mean, you know who Titanic, Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> he died because of the Blitz water. <laughs> So he left the predicament and then he went down. <laughs> so I said to myself, you know what? This place is like Moscow. I've never saw this shit to Moscow in my life. <laughs> a cold place and you're, you've got a boner. So the body, your body is cold, but your, 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 your pipe is warm. I said, you know what? Let me have a turn. So I'm there. Cool, 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 cool. Now I'm thinking, now oh, the toilet seat keeps moving, man. We need a new toilet seat. <laughs> So now, T, I've now got my leg basically like on my back. So I'm sitting on my leg. But the lid of the toilet, see, it keeps whacking off the... So I'm making a whole, a whole heap of noise. Now I've got to get a towel and put it in between where I flush and the lid. So I've, I'm at an angle now. This is how you get hemorrhoids, by the way. So now I'm at angle. So now I'm to the side. The hemorrhoids there. The towel's there. You know what I mean? And now I'm doing it, but I'm not making like, a lot of noise. And I just ended up just toothpasting this part of my arm. And I was like, you know what? That's what you call side shots. Dylan Miller mm. says, love Tigo on no rules. So much more chill and no howlers. Thing is, it's exactly the same person. But I have to, I don't have to like control nine people. I mean, if we if this was a football show, we will be swinging. That's the thing as well. Yeah, we argue we about argue football, about every, football day, every, yeah. every day. So Tigo's not going to argue with me about shoulder shape. No, I don't need to. <laughs> Easy. It's you, you, me. Come on, check your mirrors, my bro, man. My name is Jaber. Why? That sounds like the guy that I, that we met at the live show. Was it Haida? Oh, Haida, do you remember when I asked the guy what his name? He said, Haida, I said, why? Oh, yeah, 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 it rings about. So what is Jaber and Haida? What's all this? It's 2022, man. Change your name yourself. My name is Jaber, says, would love Dylan White on the show. He'd fit in perfectly. I don't know about that. Yeah, because I, I mean, the last time Dylan White spoke to a good friend of mine called Miles, that didn't end well, because Dylan White was drinking petrol. Miles called him out and it nearly kicked off. So Dylan White, I mean, if, 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 if you're a shoulder shaker and you want to come and express yourself, cool, but if you're going to... Drink petrol telling me don't ask me this and that. No, it's Dylan White right. is the best. Is it? <laughs> Messignana says, Ladybirds do bite. One bit me on the hand when I was 10 or so, and it was actually quite painful. Didn't last long, but the initial impact did hurt. You gotta be a real piece of shit to get bit by a ladybird. Speaking of real piece of shit and ladybird, carpet moths. <laughs> <laughs> Tea? Yeah, what? Tea? At the funeral yesterday, my mommy looks at me and says, you have 50,000 holes in your trousers. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I'm looking, I can't see the holes. But obviously I'm wearing glasses, so that means I've got equipment that help me see. <laughs> but you guys don't have equipment that help you see. So you can see properly. Yep. There's these tiny holes in my trousers. She goes, that's all carpet moths. Those little shits have been biting through my clothes. <laughs> I'll explain the jeans. Because I sleep on the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course you do. And I ain't got a wardrobe. Oh, my God. T, you're telling me these carpet moths, this is what they do? They bite into clothes? Yes. There are different kinds of moths, but yeah, carpet moths will bite into clothes, yeah. <sighs> the way I'm going to put flames in this hoover tonight. They bite the carpet as well, by the way. So the carpet's wearing away from the... The, the moths eating the carpet. You guys never talk about carpet moths. We don't have to tell you everything that you might like, encounter ever in your life, ever. It's hard to do that. Can he back for this jacket? I don't think they'd, nah, I don't think they'd go for leather. No, nah, yeah, I think they do, yeah. They definitely go through the inner lining. First team, all common sense, says, 
LOL, the fact that Specs got family in Australia is hilarious. Have I? Yeah, you got family in Australia. No one told you anything more about your family in Australia at the funeral. I know I've got family everywhere. I've got family in flipping Phoenix, Arizona, Australia. I know I've got family in Somalia, but I cancelled them. Do you know what I mean? I cancelled that, 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 that transaction. But bangs. Was it, we was meant to meet him, right? Yeah, yeah. that was before lockdown. My, 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 my life, boy. Someone, there's got to be a promoter in Australia who's sitting in his house going, I watch the rule show every week and I promote lots of big concerts or wrestling events or whatever. I could fly specs out, do a no rules tour, and then we could really get to know Australia. <laughs> Listen, I would love that, but Australia have got to do something first. They've got to get rid of the kangaroos. I'm not going to a place where there's more kangaroos than human beings. I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. You know what it's time for? Remember wrestling. Remember wrestling. Tigo. Yeah. I figured out something. Well, I figured out someone that has the best entrance in WWE slash WWF history. Alberto Del Rio. You were very excited about Alberto Del Rio having a good entrance. But why? But why is it just the other day I watched it and I was like, hold on. This is world class. We were, me, you and Jordy were watching a compilation of like wrestlers who were mm -hmm. in jail mm -hmm. uh, or facing prison time. And Alberto Del Rio was number one on that list. And then you were like, hey, forget all these crimes. Look at that entrance. Alberto Del Rio. And he's doing, he's doing awesome Venga. Yeah. He's doing all this. With the scarf. Yeah, with the, amazing. But we've got a problem. So now, if I, I'm a sort of person, if I like your entrance music, I now want to watch. I want to watch you wrestle. Yeah, I saw Alberto Del Rio decide to do UFC. Did he? And T. His first match, he lost. The guy put him in a sleeper hold and he tapped out. No way, Tito Ortiz. His name was his name's um, Alberto Del Picache or something like that. But yeah, he lost his first UFC match. I see that. I always thought that's a stinker, like a wrestler changing sports. Guy in UFC and losing. I remember Ken Shamrock, he did the UFC first, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Then it was Brock Lesnar. CM Punk. CM Punk did as well, yeah. and he lost. Yeah. They all did, but Ken Shamrock didn't lose though. Ken Shamrock was big. He big was big, guy, big yeah, time. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. They, they, why would you go from fake to real and lose? Stay with a fake one. You know what I mean, Greg? Stay with a fake one. So um, Alberto de Rio, I watched that. And then from Alberto de Rio, I went, I moved on to watching a documentary about Paul Bearer. Oh. I don't know why, just, yeah, just- Percy Pringle. Watch T, Paul Bearer is class, yeah. and was class. So watch his story about managing The Undertaker. Um, and then him talking about his wife, that he lost, whatever. So I watched all that. I watched Paul Bearer, The Rio, somebody else. There was another wrestler I watched. Yes, it's come Ahmed Johnson. Oh yeah, you were very excited about Ahmed Johnson. I remember seeing this guy come in the ring with red, he, 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 you know the red part of Ultimate Warrior's costume? He took it and wrapped it around himself. So I said, okay, that's interesting, he's a thief. <laughs> but then he, his career was so short and I didn't understand why. So now, you know now these guys, they're baby whales <laughs> and they go on podcasts and they talk about <laughs> then yep. Godfather, all these guys, just D'Lo Brown. Basically, Ahmed Johnson was one of those guys that was hard to work with behind the scenes. Okay, like you. What? <laughs> Amazing guy, don't say that. <laughs> and um, I like Poet. Yeah, Poet's a flipping hard guy to work with. <laughs> Poet's not Ahmed Johnson. <laughs> Poet's <not> Ahmed Johnson. <laughs> But the difference is probably ain't been beat up yet. Yeah. <laughs> but D'Lo Brown beat up Ahmed Johnson uh, behind the scenes. Really? D'Lo Brown beat him up in I mean, front of a massive guy. the nation of domination. But they all hated him, Farouk couldn't stand him. Um, he tried to bully JR. Because um, JR was talent's relation. I don't know what that means. He just looked after all the Oh yeah, wrestlers. so yeah, he wasn't happy with, he thought he should be bigger than what he was. And everyone just got sick and tired of him. And when he went, everyone celebrated. So Ahmed Johnson was that, was a bad apple. He was Aubameyang. My mommy said to me, I can't watch Rikishi in front of the kids. What? 
I messaged you now. I said, she said, I can't, because he's cellular. <laughs> he's eczema. <laughs> he stains from his shoulder shaking that curls backwards. It's all on that bum cheek. And I don't want the kids seeing this. I'm like, but it's wrestling, it's a sport. It this is, is an Olympics. Yeah. I was like, you know, I was like, like darling, like Rikishi's a, he's a gold, gold medalist. <laughs> You know what's funny? When we started this show in 20, whatever, 1918, whatever it was, um, we didn't watch wrestling. We just talked about old wrestling. These days, we send clips to each other. Me, you and Jordy send clips to each other all day of wrestling we're watching on YouTube, watching on Twitter, whatever. We consume more wrestling now than we probably did when we were kids. No, definitely. But, but now, I've realised that, raw like, Stone Cold... The Rock, Undertaker, We're like all you men are just dickheads, man. <laughs> Have you watched Stone Cold's podcast? I've seen bits of it. Like, yeah. Stone Cold is. I'm looking just thinking it's not the Stone Cold I know. I wish he just stuck to that that ruthless and rudeness, like you know what I mean. But now he just do a podcast where he's just rude to people. Yeah, of course. Be Stone hey, Cold, man. You remember that time I beat you at SmackDown? What? Like he's he's he's, he's, he's sitting there with um. Oh, uh, what's this guy's name? Diamond Dallas Page. Yeah. No, a lot of people know we're buddies. <laughs> <laughs> if you told me that was your friend then, I would never root for you, Stone Cold. Because the way you beat him up, you made me hate Diamond Dallas Page. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, Seagull? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. now it's just like they're all talking about who their good friends is back. And I'm just like, oh, no, nah, man, this is, ah, I don't want to hear this. But T, let me tell you a little funny thing quickly. Runner. Big up man like Runner. Runner, I'm not going to kill you today, don't worry. Yeah? We're in the car, me, Runner, and Dazza. New Year's Day, we're going to an event. And we're talking. I was like, Runner, do you watch wrestling? You know, Runner doesn't like to talk. Runner yeah. just likes to complain about Boris. Yeah. Yeah, we know that. Runner, you watch wrestling? Yeah, yeah, I watch it in school. Nah, nah, you didn't watch it in school. Yeah, who's your favourite wrestler? I have to say, oh, my warrior. <laughs> so we're laughing. That's a, uh... But I've got another one. I said, who? Do you remember the guy that had the plank of wood? <laughs> wow. I said, what? Hacksaw Jim Duggan? <laughs> yeah, him. <laughs> See, he has to drop me here. Run on Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Store that to you, go. All right, well, listen, I, I just wanted to make the point that remember, rest is not going anywhere. It's only going to get bigger and better. And allegedly, mm. allegedly. Million dollar man. In 2022. Yeah. We might get a wrestler on this show. Allegedly. Because you know what we've got to move on to now? No rules news. That's it, yeah. <laughs> the, stand. the pace, the pace, the pace is low. This first one's from BBC News. We got the BBC, man. Yeah, we got the BBC. We got the BBC, man. News coming soon, announcement coming Come soon. Come on. Alexa, have you got Alexa? My daughter every day. Alexa, I hate you. <laughs> That's not a nice thing to say. <laughs> they are arguing every day. Of course I know who Alexa is. Well, you might want to pay attention. Alexa tells 10-year-old girl to touch a live plug with a penny. Amazon has updated its Alexa voice assistant after it challenged a 10-year-old girl to touch a coin to the prongs of a half-inserted plug. What happens? Electric shock. Oh, yeah. Because electricity travels through... Plugs. Coin material. Coins, yeah, yeah. Just not, it doesn't travel through plastic. Alexa said, plug in a phone charger about halfway into a wall outlet, then touch a penny to the exposed prongs. So I've got to get rid of Alexa then. Because my Alexa talks to my daughter all the time. You just got to pay attention. The way Layla and Alexa talk, I feel like when we go upstairs and Layla's down there, they have some serious, serious conversations. <laughs> because Layla's trying to do things. Like Layla, I caught Layla, I got her back for Christmas. And she knows she's not allowed to ride it in the house. She can ride it outside. She's trying to do the whole wheelie and all that stuff, riding around the house. Like, what are you doing? Maybe, and I'm thinking, why is she doing it? Why is she making these choices? Is she undateable? No, it's Alexa. It's Alexa. Your dad's gone upstairs. Do it now. <laughs> that's a witch. That's a witch maneuver. You yeah, know? yeah, that's kind of horror movie stuff, actually. Okay, cool, Alexa. You go to war with me. Cool. <laughs> this next story is from the Sun. Page three. I used to show the shake to page three. What was her name? 
Come on, Specs. Is it Jordan? Jordan, I think, was Jordan in year six, like year six times, right, for us? Sure. So Jordan, Hillary Clinton, Veronica Lewinsky. <laughs> Do you remember that story? <laughs> oh my God, Bill Clinton had the whole world talking about his flipping pipe. This story is from The Sun. Kim Jong-un's dad invented burritos, North Korea bizarrely claims, as sales of Western dish boom. Burritos? Burritos. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Burritos. Mexican restaurant. Uh, did I have burritos? Is that like crisps? No, nah, that's tortillas. Bur oh, tortillas. Burritos. I know what burritos are. Cheese? No. Is it green? Do you want me to tell you or do you want to keep guessing? Burritos, 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 burritos. Okay, tell me. It's the wrap. It's got the rice and like I'll have chicken. Oh, yes! Rice. You wear it you with a silver jacket. You eat with a silver jacket. Yes, it has to be silver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know Brito. I knew I knew Brito. I was, just getting, I was getting mixed up. I know Brito. Well, North Korea has bizarrely claimed that Kim Jong-un's dad invented burritos in 2011. Do you, do, do you think I would ever listen to what Kim Jong-un said when the guy said that his country won the World Cup and they beat Brazil? <laughs> the guy is a liar. So no, he said that no one in his country can have his haircut. There's only three haircuts you can have. I do not listen to that man. You didn't invent that. Do you know what else he did recently? He bans people from wearing leather jackets. What? Mm -hmm. He said that they were trying to copy him and that you should never try and imitate your leader. So that means Term Terminator. <laughs> Terminator is him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Terminator, he's got, his, he's got his, oh, this guy, man. I watched a documentary about this guy. This guy is just, he's a, nar he's a narcissist. I don't want trouble with him. No, none of us but do. But you're not going to tell me that I can't wear my jacket unless I step in your house, right? And see, I have no plans to step in, 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 in his ass, but there was a time when we thought he hit the stairs. Well, he, I think he leaked that. <laughs> and he came back and he was eight years old. I think he did a Stevo. I think he did a Stevo. Oh, he done a Stevo, didn't he? Yeah. This next story comes from IFL Science. Now, this was everywhere, this story. IFL but Science. I've yeah. gone with a science website mm -hmm. to make it sound more serious. Mm -hmm. Woman who earns $200,000 by selling fart jars hospitalized what? by her work. Fart jars. Uh, listen, we've all farted in the jar before. See what happens. <laughs> what? Yeah, we've all done you it. Can't be shocked and then say we've all. Farted we've all done. We've all done jar. that. I've never done. I've that. I've done that. I've, I remember farting in a jar and then putting the lid on and looking away and looking back and <laughs> Nutella. <laughs> Some brown stuff in there. <laughs> I said, oh shit! I shit in the accident. Flipping hell. But yeah, um, we've all we've all we've all shit in jars, man. Shit in jars now. Yeah, of course, T, man. Jars. <laughs> Little shit in jars, man. All right. Okay, maybe, maybe there's something for you to look into then. Because Stephanie Matto has an unusual CV. After becoming a reality TV star by appearing on 90 Day Fiancé, mm -hmm. which is a big show in America, Matto took up a new lucrative profession, selling jars of her own farts on the internet. But the thing is, this is my thing. Why would I want to buy someone's fart for what? That's what, Why would I want to buy it? It should be free. <laughs> Diffusion. <laughs> so that's just, you just said a word. <laughs> diffusion. <laughs> yeah, diffusion goes up and it always rises. Hot farts. When it comes out, it's like somebody's flipped egg. I love them farts because when I do it, I smell it first. Oh, you always smell it first. I don't know why. He can't smell it first. It's always me. So I smell it, I mean, what? So now I'm like, yeah, this one's a bad one, man. So I'll look at, they will be talking about his mommy and that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> I love that. The delay. Do you know what I mean? But you, obviously you can't do it to me. I don't like when people do it to me. I'm going to do it to you. Yeah, yeah. of course. I would, buying it is just, it's a waste of money, man. I would have, how can you sell someone's farts? That's, oh, yeah, 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 but there's Bitcoin as well, isn't it? Well, Matto from Connecticut received a request for her jarred gas on the adult site Unfiltered back in November. She charged a cool $1,000 a jar before offering discount, discounts around the holiday season. Who knew so many farts, people would buy farts as gifts, it's class. Managing to make $200,000, at one point she was pumping out 97 jars over two days to cope with no, demands. No, 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 because it's just the air. I need the sound. <laughs> Unfortunately, the fairy tale career recently came to an abrupt end after her new lifestyle landed her in hospital, feeling like she was having no, a heart sound. attack. I need the sound. See, you know, you see, when I push out a fart, I like to make you lot hear the bass and the treble 
and the, the, the subwoof of the whole dynamic. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's see. If, let's, let's get one now. <laughs> I want to be clear. Wait, that, great, that, wait that, that, that one, that one, <laughs> it dropped. That one dropped and I pushed. Greg so we got to pick it up. We got to pick up. One Greg second. and Felix did not just add a sound effect there. Greg, did, Greg and Felix did not just don't fuck off. We haven't got carpet moths. Fuck off. <laughs> wait, sorry, Dylan. Can you smell my hemorrhoid? No. No. Next story comes from mentalfloss.com. Oh, mental. Flip it now. Sausage vending machines are a thing in Germany. Wait a minute. You can buy a sausage from a, in a vending machine? Huh? A sausage? Food cravings don't operate on a set schedule. They can strike at any time, like during late night hours when most businesses are closed for the day. As The Independent reports, Germany has come up with an ingenious solution to this common inconvenience. 24-hour sausage vending machines that are accessible when the butcher is away. So you can go down to the butchers. Put some money in. Ching, ching. I think I think Germany is the worst country for me for food. Why? When I went there, I remember ordering chips and chicken and tea. The chicken was just on top of the chips, like this. <laughs> you like that though? Yeah. So I couldn't even. Every time I took a chip at the plate, the chicken took it back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you went to Munich. And then, the, I'm, I'm like, boss, what, like, what's this? This chicken is, is, is stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's like, you need, that's why you need to drink this beer. And the beer, Yeah, tea. they got a Bavarian beer, yeah, it's massive, yeah. I wasn't with Critical, why is he giving me this? <laughs> tea, just warm. <laughs> I was just like, this is the worst place. Then I, me and Poet and Vuj went somewhere else. Tea, I couldn't find nothing to eat. What would you put in a vending machine? Ooh, great question. I wouldn't like to have beans in a vending machine. I want my beans coming from a tin. That's just me personally. Mashed potato in a vending machine. That would take so long to come down, man. That thing nah, is nah. Just stuck. nah, nah, it's just hot. Oh, it's it just slide. Like ice cream kind of thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, that like ice cream. Yeah. Oh, what? And then, and then the beans on top, like ice cream. So what's the ice cream thing called? Cone. Yeah. And we put um, mashed potato on it. Yeah. But not cone, you have to No flake, else. we don't put no flake in mashed potato though. No. I don't want no chocolate near that's, that. That's the, that's, the, that's the dry sausage. Yeah. That's the, that makes sense, you know. Yeah. So that, custard. I like I like cake and custard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like cake and custard. Cake, cake will dry out in a vending Cake will dry out. Yeah. Um, what else do I like? I don't like tuna. I like tuna and pasta. Pasta. Pasta in a vending machine? Yeah, but one. <laughs> yeah. Just one, you know what I mean? Just, just one. That's that's it. Oh, what about baked potatoes? Baked potatoes in a vending machine. Broom. Yeah, but I'm, I'm looking at them chilling together first before you buy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just looks like my son with all of his friends just in the line. Just. <laughs> <laughs> his, son got, his son got a lot of friends. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, it's the head shape, isn't it? It's just like, can you imagine? All right, let's do one last news story. This one's from CTV News, CTV, that's Canada. Five-year-olds caught driving car north of Kingston, Ontario, wanted to buy present for sister, police say. This is the thing, I, if I'm a police officer, I've just finished having my donuts, because they always love donuts in America. In America, yeah, Police yeah. Academy. Um, I saw a car and there's a five-year-old. First of all, he's five. So already, I've stored some jokes about that. <laughs> so I'm not going to be mad. It's not your duty, but yeah. But I'm just looking at this five-year-old thinking, I mean, like, you know, my son at five driving, it's fine, isn't it? Because he doesn't look five. But if I saw a five-year-old that looks five, I'm going to be like, do you know what? Keep driving. <laughs> the fact that you're trying to get a toy as well, I'll tell you what, go further and get more toys. Well, apparently, um, Ontario Provincial Police say they received a call about a suspicious vehicle at around 7.20 a.m. on Monday from a neighbour. The vehicle had come to arrest oh. in a hayfield. Suspicious means it was on the pavement. <laughs> yeah, probably, <laughs> probably. When police arrived, they found the very young driver who said he wanted to go to the store and buy a pink toy tractor for his little sister. How old is his little sister? Probably about two, three? Yeah, probably, yeah. 
That's caring, man. But the, the car only sustains minor damage and the kid was fine. How old's Layla? Layla's five. Could you imagine Layla driving to the shop? <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but Layla's an undateable. That's different. <laughs> what? <laughs> the, the, the car will be in reverse. Well, there are other things that can drive cars, not just five-year-olds. Oh my gosh. That monkey is a baby whale, man. <laughs> it's the, the it's the monkey's, rang, it's look at the monkey's belly tea. <laughs> it's an orangutan, I believe. It's a what? Orangutan. It's the same thing. Well, what's the difference between the monkey and the same family, no? No. Oh, that's an ape. Okay. <laughs> you know you know what I like about this ape? It's looking, to, it's looking to the side. It's not even looking forward. It's checking his mirrors, it's, bro. It's checking his mirrors. <laughs> Oh my god, look, one arm. One arm on the top now. <laughs> He's trying to hold the convertible now because it started raining. <laughs> should, I think, should I watch Planet Apes now, man? You know what, T? If this is the new thing of apes, five year olds, carpet moths, if they all want to drive, let Maybe them do we it. We should T. get you that Harley Davidson. No, let, let, let them do it. Let them do it, T. Oh, T, I'm, T, I'm, I'm getting a Harley Davidson. Well, Specs, we made them wait. We did, we did, man. We did. And we, we started off this, this show with no guests because it's the first one of the year. Yeah, fuck it. Of course. And because it's the no rules show. Of course there's no rules show, man. You might see a guest, you might not. You might not. But like I said, to all those people that have messaged me paragraphs saying I've helped them through their dark days, this year we're going to take you back to those dark <laughs> days. It's no rules. <laughs> you want to see the light. There's no such thing as the light. You know what I mean? Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. We love you. R.I.P. to Auntie Hella. Auntie Hella! Wait, where is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, where is it? <laughs> but Auntie Hella might be back, you know, she might try and take some...